Welcome to Previously on the Screeviously. <laughs> I got this thing called Sculpture done this morning, so I'm icing my face. Oh my god, Leah, it's your birthday. Brad reached out, and he knows you love the show, and we want you to have a really awesome, amazing birthday. This could be late. Your birthday could have been weeks ago, but it was recent, and we're still celebrating it, so you mm -hmm. should be too. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, Leah. Merch. I feel like we have a lot of good material. Like we need to do a cheers to blend. Yeah, cheers yeah. to blend. We need to do it. Um, I'm you're ready to drink, actually. You're sad, baby girl. You're sad, baby girl. You're sad, baby. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Growing up means prioritizing yourself. I told Sam that I wanted to get my own place because his place was just too distracting. You move in, that was like a huge deal. Now you're doing a mini move out. It feels like taking a step back. I was ready to focus on my business. I knew Sam would be upset, but I was terrified that this was going to ruin our relationship. You may lose him over this. But while my relationship was struggling, some ex-couples were getting closure. We're not meant to be together, it's fine. I wish you nothing but the best. Despite the various hiccups they endured. So when's the last time y'all hooked up? Last night. Are you ashamed of that? This is what guys, they hooked up last night. It's Camilla. He's been talking to Camilla. Kelsey's boyfriend, Max, gave up everything to move to Florida for her. I missed you. I miss you too. And Chloe had found the love of her life with Chris. Ever since you've entered my life, everything just seems more calm. I wish my relationship was working that well. But as terrified as I was about things with Sam falling apart, I knew I needed to focus on myself. But was I going to lose the person I loved in the process? Goodness gracious! Ooh, They're just had like. To pause on it. I was looking at you. You can check the tape. <laughs> Goodness gracious! Ooh. Hmm. No previous there. All right. Love that black pontoon. Well, I don't like that. I love that this is like our new form of drinking. Kombucha. She doesn't seem good. Mm -mm. I just got back from telling Sam that I'm moving out. It didn't go as bad as I thought it was gonna go. What's going on? What up, bro? Sam's vegan. How much? Oh. So what's up? <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't even know, honestly, dude, like, Juliet and I were just like talking this morning, whatever. Says she has something to tell me. And I guess she went and got an apartment. Huh? Hey, dude, I really don't understand the whole situation. Wait, wait. Yeah. The part, like, she's moving out? I mean, it was definitely weird for him. He felt a little caught off guard, and he was a little annoyed that you and I went and looked for apartments. Ugh. He's yeah. like, this is between you and I. I should know first. I mean, I could understand. I don't know, I feel like betrayed and it's just like weird the way she went about it. Like, don't you think? Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I would tell her first if I wanted to like make some change in our relationship. Nobody does that. Nobody moves in with a person says they're gonna be serious in a relationship and then yeah. decides that they're gonna move out and then they don't tell the but person. But she's like, it's not a back. step backwards. I'm like, is it a step forward? Like definitely no, not, you know? No. It's kind of like, are we dating or not, you know? I don't want to break up. I just think this is best for me just sometimes to have my own space because I'm kind of at a point in my life where I'm like, I need to work. She go to like a we work, like an office or something? Yeah, if she was happy, she wouldn't be feeling this way. She would figure it out. Imagine when you have your own place and you decorate it and you have yeah. your candles and yeah. you have your little music going and you can come home at the end of the day to that. That's when you fall in love with yourself. And when you fall in love with yourself, amazing things happen. Okay. Let me tell you, because I've already lit the candles and I'm in love with myself <laughs> and the most amazing thing happened, a butterfly landed on my arm at the 
Arborita. Being honest, normally when somebody does something like that, it's their first step in distancing themselves. In I mean, that's, how, that's how I feel too. I'm not going to deny it and be like, everything's normal. They're being straight up with each other. I, I personally think that's a step back. And that oh, I mean, 100% it is. Like, you know, I don't want to sit here and play these stupid games. No, the mature way to handle it would have been, hey, listen, Sam, I think we need to take a step yeah. back. Well, I mean, you help me get a place. Right? Yeah. Like, Sam's so upset he didn't shave for a couple of days. But the fact she tells you, oh, yeah, by the way, Sam, I'm moving out. I didn't tell you. That's not what people normally do in relationships. No. I think you're getting your priorities straight. And at 24, your boyfriend doesn't have to be priority number one. You should be priority number one. Two should be your business. And then if Sam fits into all that and is making things better for you, amazing. Mm -hmm. Amanda, Speaking of please work, stop giving advice. I have to go to LA and do a JMP photo shoot, and I haven't even told Sam I'm doing that yet. Oh yeah, the swimwear line had really been taking off, and it was requiring more and more of my time. I didn't want to make my partner Jamie handle everything, so I couldn't blow off this photo shoot. I never realized how much work this was in trying to grow a business. It's a lot for me to carry right now. Oh, I was just wondering about Kelsey. I got all the colors looking like a prison and the lights make you wonder. Models, models. Uh, yes. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you all for coming to shoot for by Kelsey Owens. Speaking of swimwear, Kelsey was still working on her line too. Love it in the sun. It's just amazing. There we go. Get a Chloe lookalike. Nice. Nice. Cheers. Yeah, cheers yeah. to Blend. You guys did good. Like, some people are awkward in front of the camera sometimes. I'm like, you guys are both just like, mm. the bathing suit was comfortable, so I'm glad you guys like yeah, it. so nice. Happy in that all day. So, congrats like, <laughs> on making a comfortable bathing suit. Been a lot of trial and error to like get exactly how I want it. But now that I found out how I wanted it, my manufacturer is just taking way longer than they had originally told me it was going to take to get all the swimmer in. I never realized like how much time and energy it takes to like start your own business. No guys, like everyone knows that starting your own business like takes a lot of time and energy. You can't say you never realized it, okay? You could say I'm working really hard and I don't have a lot of time, but you can't say that this is like news to you. I'm so glad we all got to like spend time together today. I feel like it's been forever. Yeah. By the way, Sam actually invited us to go hang out by the pool tomorrow. Do you be down for that? Interesting. I think it'll be good for like you and Julia, like have baby steps back into like being around each other again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so at yeah. the reunion, Kelsey and I made up. Well, sort of. I just, I would love to have a conversation. I would too. That's a step. It's a step. That's a step in the right direction. We were at least trying to be cordial around each other now. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, Juliet's party was, um... Oh, yeah, how was that? <laughs> um, I got into it with Chloe, so... What? <laughs> I was like, oh, the old Chloe's back. And, of course, that triggered her. Yeah. Do you know that that's the most triggering thing, saying that I... Well, then don't act like that, and I won't say it. I'm not perfect. I'm going to f*** up. If I say something mean every once in a while, doesn't mean that I haven't changed a lot. Wasn't Chris there? I still haven't met him. Yeah, he was like, Chloe, say sorry, and then fumes like flew out of her ears. No, yeah, he he came our conversation <laughs> and he looks at her, he's like, Chloe, you wanna apologize? And she, and she like, was like, <laughs> Oh my god, it was so amazing. Fumes. <sighs> I was embarrassed at how the night ended because Chris has never seen me argue or fight with anyone. So here he is at the first party with all of our friends and I'm like screaming, getting in a fight and storming off. And he's like definitely never seen that side of me. I don't know why he's with her. He seems really nice and like just normal. Not normal. Well, I don't know about normal, but. And did marks on her arms. Mm -hmm. Maybe she recently went to the doctor. Basically a detective. Okay. I got annoyed at Everyone's your party. Everyone's coming too, through with Camilla. like different really? hairstyles. Yeah, I love Camilla, but I was sitting there talking to Will and she's just throwing stuff. I guess she thought we were flirting or something. I mean, who are you? I mean, I get it. Will is super attractive. He's super talented. He's got a great personality, and I'm comfortable with him, so. So I guess. <laughs> but maybe in a week, she'll have something to be jealous of her. Yeah. I just want to be above the drama. I don't want to deal with, yeah. you know, walking on eggshells around anybody. And I'm thinking about having an art show soon. 
Really? You mean an yeah. all-cast event? That'd be awesome. So I sort of hate to admit it, but Jordan is an amazing artist. How long do I have to like stand and pose? Um, you could just take like a photo or like a um, mental image. Um, yeah, I've never done a mental picture. Well, for the most part. It's my first show too, so it's a big deal to me, you know? Yeah, and that's exciting. And I want to invite everybody. I just don't want to like pick and choose who I want to invite to my show. So I'm inviting Chloe. I'm inviting Camilla. Okay, well, that's interesting. I told you to shut the f up! Oh, you did? Yeah, you I didn't want to hear it! <laughs> Stupid bitch! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I want to extend the olive branch. I'm over Brandon. Yeah. I don't care about that mess. Yeah. I'm glad I mean, like you're extending the invite for her to come. I think that's very like mature of you. I'm just gonna see how things go, I guess. Maybe have a talk with her or try to. Oh, good. Clear the yeah. air. I think it's time you guys do that. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to get pushed in any pools again, but we'll see. The first one to make it, the other person has to take the shot. Okay. Okay, you want to come in at an angle? <laughs> come on. I'm really good at the actual game. What is this, a fake game? This is like the tabletop version. I got it. Did you actually? Yes. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Take a shot. Oh, I didn't really get it. <laughs> do you just want to take yours since you faked me out? I'll just do a half minute. I wonder if most mothers and daughters do this together. <laughs> so, Kels, how is the business going? Have you ever played a drinking game with your mom before? Not in the daytime. No, but it kind of sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's, it's all great. What I had ordered sold out way faster than I ever expected, which is amazing. But it's also making me realize, okay, I need a bigger supply. But the manufacturer, their turnaround time, because they're in Brazil, is three months. Yeah. So it's just not Mom is so bored. I'm gonna have to start making some business decisions. I don't know, it's just tough. Because also, like, um, yeah. Oh no, girl. It sucks, but... And that's another thing with me is like, when I think about it, I've been struggling with like whether or not I do want to stay here. Max, what do you mean? Just move. Just like in general, like I want to stay here because you're here. Yeah. Dad's here, <laughs> Colton's here, and Max is here. But also, why are you thinking about leaving? I've never heard this. Where are you going? I just I don't know. Like I just don't know that Florida's for me. Like just talking about the show. This whole entire group, it's been. Great, we've had our ups and downs, but like, I really truly at this point only feel super close to Madison, and Madison's not even here. And I'm trying to be civil. Oh, did you hear that Madison's pregnant? Mm -hmm. I would say everybody deserves to be forgiven for whatever, yeah. not, not that. And I, I do, mean, at this point, I'm like so over all of it, but we're different people, and at the end of the day, But I'm you like, were good friends, and you guys had great times. <clears throat> yeah, we did. Well, so maybe ask face. yourself, would you be running from your problems in essence? Do you know, like, you're just trying to escape the friend issue. And that would be a bad reason to leave. Shh, getting down to the ass oh, Whatever you just said earlier was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Back. <laughs> I can't wear underwear with this, so it's kind of risky. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's been going on with you? I feel like we haven't. I mean, I don't know. After the Brandon thing. I feel like we've been hung out since um, I, I tried to um, hook up with your boyfriend. <laughs> Gave him another chance, and look what he does. He just straight up lied for no reason, and he got caught in that lie. I know. He like apologized to me, and does it's he like, own up to it? He oh, didn't yeah. even own up, but he kind of was just like, "I'm so sorry for putting you through this," and blah blah blah. I will put you through a lot. So much, in fact. It was so much, so much stuff. I'm just so over it. I really am. It's like, he's not gonna change, and it's my fault for keep thinking that he's gonna change, because he's not. Fool me once. Fool me once. Shame on... Shame on you. I don't know. I just, I feel bad, because me and Will, we were both interested in maybe, like, coming back together, but he, I guess, found <laughs> out about... Oh, speaking me. of Will. <laughs> I feel like if you and Will were gonna be serious, it would've happened by now. 
You guys have been on and off already, so it's like, I don't know, maybe it's time for something new. Yeah. Yeah, not buying it. But anyway, so Jordana, <sighs> ironically, she invited yeah. me to her art show, which is strange, but I'm gonna be the mature person that talks to her. You know, I made mistakes pushing her, but after everything, I want to be a woman that supports women. She wants to be a sports woman? She wants to be a woman that supports women. Uh, I was like, she's taking this golf thing too far. <laughs> I'm like, is this a trap or is she wanting to make amends? There's only one way to find out. You have to go to the art show. Maybe at the art show, there's, there's gonna be a pool and then Jordana's gonna push Camilla into that pool and get her, and that's a trap. <laughs> What's up, babe? How was tennis? Yeah, it was fun. Just played Mike. Yeah. That's good. Did you win? Mm-hmm. Yep. Every time. Yeah. What are you working on? Um, I'm just going through my bank statements and stuff. Nice. Um. You're being really distracting, okay? I need to move out. There's actually something I want to talk to you about also. You're moving out again? Yeah. I'm going to LA. I found an apartment. <gasps> uh oh. I put a deposit down. Yeah, when are you, like, moving in or whatever? On Saturday. Okay. Can you help me? Um... Would you help her if she asked? I also wanted to tell you that I, um... I'm gonna go to L.A. for a couple days. And why is this um, on to I know, for a work trip. I, I just want to be there for the photo shoot that we're having. Yeah, go. Yeah, so, what? Of course. Yes. He's like, you know you're not allowed to leave me. Do you want to come to L.A. with me? Oh. I would have, like, appreciate it if you would have told me before booking and everything. Yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to give you an update on everything. He's like, so that's a now? <laughs> Sweet. Like, we could maybe do these weekly updates now where you just come by and they hit me on your life. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Okay, I love you. Mm. Bye. Well, we know that this is the beginning of the end because yeah. he's with that other girl's butt. Did he just say toodles? TTYL. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Look who it is. Hi. This is Thanks for setting this up. Of course. Cute little picnic. Oh, I'm hungry. Chris is that is a major meat plate. Night, we didn't get to talk too much. It was a little hectic. But I feel like if he's going to meet everybody, it's like you might as well just throw him in the deep end right. and see if yeah. he can swim. I was afloat the whole night. <laughs> and the way to keep so the metaphor how did going. how you and Chloe meet? Online. It was really fate because we were both kind of on similar journeys. Tell him, babe. What happened was Tell he me. posted a video on his Instagram. It's just about health and wellness, mind, body, soul. I was had a lot of like spiritual gatherings that I was doing. I was like DJing at this like yoga breathwork event we would do up in the mountains outside of Boulder. And I was like, oh my God, who is this? So I followed him on Instagram. You it's... followed him first? Yeah. So you slid in? I did. You manifested she did. it. She did. Yeah. And like the next day he was like, so where do you live? And I was like, oh, Siesta Key. And he's like, I'm going to Naples in two weeks. And I was like, well, maybe you should come up and visit. And he's like, maybe I will. And I was like, do it. And he came up here. And he was like, and I was like, and he was like. <laughs> you guys are so cute. So what are your intentions with my Chloe? Ooh. <laughs> my intentions are to love her. Oh, that's sweet. I love that. I'm very spiritual. No sh You know, a manifestation of a lot of the work that I've done uh, on myself. Aww. You guys, so are you guys manifested so each cute. other. Perfect. You guys are bettering each other. It's awesome. We are. It's what everybody wants. And I love that you recognize that. So I see crystals. I see colorful paper. Oh, what is this? We're gonna write down three things that we want to release, and then three things we want to manifest. I used to just do this every single day, and then Chris one day showed up. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and he started doing well, it for me. You guys can pick a color. Blue, please. Yeah, like I'll cool. take green. Yeah, what is my color Green, today? yo. I'm going to go around and share, and then we'll pass this around, and you can put it in after you share. I manifested stability. Oh, my God. I love, I love that. <laughs> stability is so major. I feel very unstable. So start with release. The most important one probably would be PG. holding on to past relationships. She's, she's talking about Brandon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man
Manifest. Snaps, snaps for that one. <laughs> the number one thing I want to release is allowing others to get a reaction out of me. Yeah. We all know that when you find the button, I freak out. Chris got to see it at your birthday party, so. Um, Way to not take responsibility. Yeah. Um, about that, that not was, cool. Does that mean you're not coming to Jordana's art show? Well, after your birthday, I don't really know if I want to go to her art shop. I don't want to go and deal with, like, Kara trying to make me out to be an unchanged person. I mean, do whatever feels right for you. If you feel like it's a good idea to go and you want to be around her and Kara, then go. But if you're not ready, then, you know. Yeah, I'll sleep on it and see. If you want to be on the show, go. And, you know, if you want to be unemployed, don't go. Yeah, she's she's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, oh uh, my god! She was like, I was like, out there. Thank you. How are That's you? Awesome. Like I can Some never chicken? get the paint to go where I want it to. Go. A little tofu action. Yeah, you like I'm that? A YouTube artist. Yeah, so good. As long as Sam likes it, I'm sure. I'm sure he'll love it. He's obsessed with those dogs. I know. I can never do that. How are you so good? I don't know. I started painting four years ago, like actually using paint. Wait, only four <laughs> years ago? Yeah. Basically, my ex-boyfriend told me I would never be an artist, so I was like, screw you. Oh my god. I'm do it. <laughs> don't tell me I can't do something, because then I'll go do it. <laughs> I want people to leave my show feeling something. I don't want it just to be like, oh, cool art. Like, mm -hmm. this is deeper than that. This is coming from a deeper place, because 10 years ago, I lost my brother. Jordana's overcome some big obstacles in her life. Her brother was killed in a hit and run when he was 15 years old. And she struggled a lot to deal with that loss. He would want me to show off my art. And I feel like I started like painting butterflies. And the butterfly is a big thing for me. I see butterflies when I'm really, really down, when I miss him. And so my mom is always like, Chloe's told me, gonna like, love butterflies that. are like, they're so strong and so resilient mm -hmm. and like, but they're so fragile. And that's like me, like I'm, I was always a caterpillar my whole life and now I'm a butterfly. Now you're a butterfly. <laughs> um, I want to do this for him and for me and for my mom. Like, I want to make her proud, you know, because I'm all that she has left. Eyes on the ceiling, chasing the feeling. I miss him a lot. And it sucks, so I just, um... I'm going to always do things in my brother's honor. The music's getting faster, they're all going harder, be you've gone. There's a butterfly. Mm -hmm. That's Look, so tragic. Right. Butterflies are cool. Butterflies are amazing. Coming up, what's going on? Sam's having a pool party, and Kelsey just texted me and said, Exactly. Sam invited me over. Weird. I like that move by Sam, though. You ready to party? Dude, I am so excited about today. She goes to this every what day. What do you mean? Because she's gone, Juliet. <laughs> Let's have fun. <laughs> Are they gonna hook up? Is that what he's implying? I think he would like to. You guys might recognize this shot from your Apple TV, like, B-roll screen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Hold up, like, your... Yeah, nice. I like that. Tied it pretty good. Going good, right? Oh my gosh, the new collection looks amazing. I love it. Why are they photographing inside a house in LA? Maybe there's like a cool view and pool and whatever they're gonna transition into, but let's see. We've got a lot more of these coming up. I know that you don't live in California and we have to do all this over the phone and Zoom. But if you're really getting exhausting, like Sam's internet is not strong enough to handle this. If you were in LA more often, it's, it's definitely difficult. I mean, if we want to sort of blow this up. <laughs> That's how I've been wearing my hair. Now if I wear my hair like that, I'm just gonna feel like I copied her. You guys are like all staring at me. I know, it's I mean, a little weird. Like, what up? Is Jess upstairs? 
Um, no, she's actually like in LA right now doing a photo shoot. Oh. You wanna hook up? I thought she was here. Yeah, I mean, she's doing her business stuff, but. They're like, why are we here to party with you dudes? You guys can come by and kind of kick it. Yeah, nice. can you kind of kick it? How are things going with you in town? I'm actually moving out. Oh, okay. I just need my own space, you know? Yeah, I mean, actually, you need more time to focus. I want to be more involved. Yeah. And I think getting my own space is really gonna help me do that. Your own space is, it's a good thing. Yeah. Okay, that's weird. Is this weird? A little bit. Should Literally, the whole reason I came was because I wanted to try to, like, start being more civil. And, like, I don't want to step on toes. Maybe you should text her. Definitely, yeah, say something. Okay. Ooh, it's like so awkward. Hey, I came over to Sam's for a pool day. I don't think you're a huge for me or all that. I'll me just being here with Ali just makes sure head out. Anyway, I'll just 100% head no, out. No, you should just head out. She shouldn't ha put her in the position to say whether that makes her uncomfortable or not. Honestly, I was pretty upset that Sam would even invite her over when he knew that it was a delicate situation. It felt like he was just being petty. What's going on? Sam's having a pool party, and Kelsey just texted me and said, hey, Sam invited me over to the house. I didn't realize you were out of town. Is it okay if I'm here? I can leave. Did he tell you that he was inviting her? I haven't talked to him yet. I mean, I'm here working, like trying to focus on this, and then there's a pool party at my house, and I don't even know who's there. It's not that I'm mad, it's just like uncomfortable. Yeah, I totally get that feeling. It's I mean, so maybe you job. should say something to Sam. Sam's not happy that I'm like slowly, slowly, slowly breaking up with him, <laughs> so he's acting weird. Yeah, I wish it like ended on better terms with you guys and everything, but like our relationship's been pretty shaky as well. Like I obviously want a girlfriend to like move in with me and stay, not like move in, move out, move in, move out, but. I see it in the sense oh, that she's like, wanted, like, he's like, own. I'll move in. <laughs> I don't know where her head's at with all this. I could see us breaking up in the future, like, shortly, but. I mean. Do you want me to be your girlfriend? I don't know. I'm just like, I will just, where Julia and I stand, like, I really want to respect that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. No, I, I wish you guys the best, and I'm sorry yeah. you're in that position. Bye. Hi. Ten initials. Vegetarian? Oh, I'm not a Whoa, special move. Yeah, what's this one? Snaps. We need Let's to know all that. do that. I'm relaxed as fuck. I just feel like it may not be the best idea for me to go to like Jordan's art show. Mm -hmm. With what happened at Juliet's birthday party, I just feel like in order to like not be triggered, I just feel like I shouldn't place myself in that situation. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, I'm happy for her and I'm proud of her. And, mm -hmm. and I never want her to think I'm not supportive of her. Yeah. I just, I really don't want to be around Kara. Yeah. I'm just really proud of you controlling your own energy and not putting yourself in situations where you can be triggered. And she knows how much you care about her. I hope so. Yeah. No opinion either way. Oh, I love this. Dedicated to the memory of your brother. That is so sweet of you. I'm so happy. Aww. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. so very proud of you. And I know that you miss your brother, but he's always with us. Be happy, because you deserve happiness. I love you, Mom. We'll do it all. I don't know, it's so cute. Beauty. Jordan, it looks great in here. Thank you. All We're scared. Yeah, finally, I know. You've been uh... ignoring all my calls. Now I get it. <laughs> Hi. This is amazing. I'm so proud of you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I just got goosebumps. I love this. Your portraits are, like, so realistic. I mean... <laughs> uh... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a red, so it's easy for me. Yes, I love the butterflies.
I'm gonna go talk to Amanda. Cool. Cool <laughs> exit. Thanks for inviting me. I figured you would appreciate. Yeah, you know, of course. I love art. art. I love art. Yeah, let's do it. Well, yeah. you enjoy tonight's thing. There's Kara. No, that's Kara's boyfriend. What's up, stranger? Hey, nice to see you here. Hey, we kind of match doing? a little bit. Mucho un baso, or what does it say? Mucho un baso. Paso vere un bacho. How are you? How are you doing? Good. Dude, is this not insane? This is so sick. I actually was pretty excited to come here, hang out with the crew, possibly get to see you. To see me? Yeah, I figured, you know, he might might be around. Cool game. It turned into a dance party. Oh my god! Yeah. She's gonna, she's gonna admire her. Open the uh -oh, door. Someone got you the $35 booth. Congrats on your art show. Chris and I are so sorry. Uh -oh. We are not there to support Chris you. Jenner. You're an amazing artist. Your work is magic, love, and butterfly kisses. Oh, sweet. That's nice of her. Yeah, where is she? She's all... <laughs> Sorry, it sounds like a big load of Hey, ladies. Do you guys look like you're busy? Hi, <laughs> okay, my lips are fabulous. Okay. Wait, go like this. Good. 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 Here. I know, me too. So did she invite you? Yeah, she invited me here. You know what? That's I've nice. been through some stuff with Jordan also. I know. So like I know how you feel in a sense. But like once I got to know her, yeah. there's so much more to her than just like she is very flirtatious and she hits on your boyfriend. Like there's more to her than that. This is beautiful. I like Julie getting and drunk like, again. Wow. Good conversation. I've never seen it this side. Like I'm over the tension. I just want to clear the air with her. Yeah. Um, speaking of clearing the air, mm -hmm. Camilla, I just wanted to let you know, friend to friend, because I genuinely respect you as a person, and I want you to hear it from me. I have been hanging out with Will occasionally. She's lying, I think. Yep, Will and Amanda were kind of a thing. You want to watch a movie while we eat dinner? I even saved you a spot. Oh, a thank you. I saved you a spot. <laughs> but it was awkward considering Camilla and Will also used to date. What can I kiss you in Italian? Posso avere un bacio. Posso avere un bacio. I mean, is it serious? No, 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 no. Like, we're just enjoying each other's company. It looks good, Pierre. I don't want this to come between us. I just, I click with Will. And if this bothers you, I want to know. So I can tell well, you why it should. How would you feel with, if that was, like, worlds were switched? If looks could care. It's definitely kind of weird. No, I, I just, I just think it's kind of weird. That's it. In the beginning, it was like fireworks and roses, and now it's just like, I feel like defeated. He said in the beginning it was fireworks and roses? Yeah. He needed to then be like, and now it's, you know, tar and Clouds vinegar, and like, he, you know, something poison. bad. Yeah. yeah. Where's Madison at? LA. The fact that you guys are all like doing this with me and everyone putting their differences aside, I can't even tell you how special that is to me. My brother Basso, was a big Basso, part Basso. of my art too. I miss him every day and every time I see a butterfly, I think of him. That's why I wanted to dedicate this show to him. Thank you guys. Jordana. Always yeah. liked her. Mm -hmm. Let's talk. I appreciate you coming here. It's been a rough ride. Just want to clear the air with you because it's like everything, all the tension was over someone that's irrelevant. It's 
actually kind of embarrassing. No, it is. <laughs> everything <laughs> he's you done. Think about it, it's like yeah, kind everything. Of embarrassing. Everything. Oh it's just God. like you know, a man would like own up in. No, he, was, he was playing both sides. No, he was playing both sides. Everything he did was really like sick. ridiculous. It hurt your feelings. It hurt my feelings, and we hated we each both other. We deserve us so no much reason. better. Exactly. And I actually am sorry for like my actions. You know, I'm sad that that like hurt you and I don't want to hurt anyone. Like no, I just I want us not have any awkward tension at all because like, we don't know. need it. You're on the same I page. I feel like these two like, could be best guys, friends. Why not? I and with Kara. Start over yeah, and, start their own show. I want to unblock you. I know Instagram. you blocked me on everything. Like I prefer to watch them over Juliet. Shot. Thanks. They're all gone. Kelsey, her whole life is shots. What? That was a shot? Oh, she was like, that was easy for me. So, I just want to let you know that. The other day, I literally went over to Sam's house for the pool day, thinking you were there completely. I had no idea until I got there. Um, I. It's fine. I knew that you didn't know. The fact that you texted me meant a lot to me. Yeah. I think it's weird that he invited me. Yeah. How's everything going with you? Um, things are definitely weird. Have you guys talked at all since she came up? I mean, yeah, dude, she's still living with me, so, like, I have to, but I feel kind of, like, trapped. Like, she goes to look at new places, pops in when she wants, doesn't tell me. You know, she still sleeps there, but I feel like it's, like, a stranger. Yeah, you guys need to break up. Yeah. I just time. think, like, when I first decided to move in with Sam, like, I was hesitant. I didn't know if I was ready, and turns out, like, I just wasn't. Yeah. Exactly. Any issue we have, then guess what? The next morning, she just goes, sugar bear. I'm like, no, babe, like, I like to communicate like an adult. The communication is not there at all, dude. Like, you know, hey, I'm going to LA. Oh, cool, when did you plan that? Like, three days ago. You can come to you if you want. Wow, like, I feel so welcome. This would be such a special trip. Fair Sam. Sam, I li I, I'm liking you more when you show a little bit of emotion. He stands up to Juliet. He does. That's true. You living alone, it's going to be good for you. When we moved out of our house, I didn't know if I was ready. It's like the first I, time I've ever lived alone. It's exciting. I mean, obviously, I know there's like a lot of other stuff going on, but like, if Sam is the one, then you guys will figure it out. Yeah. He's not. He's not. In the beginning, it was like yeah. fireworks and roses, and now it's just like... I feel like defeated. Fireworks and bruises? Roses. Right, right. I mean, honestly, dude, I'm... He's out. Yeah, he's getting really heated. He's gonna me. push Juliet in a pool. In a hypothetical pool? Yeah, an emotional pool. Break up talk? I'm gonna, um, start packing this room and then pack up my car. I know this is really weird, but... I just, like, I don't want this to affect our relationship. Like, this is just something I need to do, and I hope that we can still be good. You know, moving out isn't something that people do when they're, like, madly in love and everything's going great. I feel like it's yeah. definitely a step back in the relationship. I mean, like, I want you to do what's best for you, obviously, but I'm not going to sit here and lie and be like, I'm super happy you're leaving. Mm -hmm. Fair. 24, also though, whether you're in love or not, is a really young age to move in with a boyfriend. Well, yeah, what do you got going on tonight? Amanda and Lexi are gonna help me unpack and stuff, and we're gonna order food if you wanna come. Yeah, that's good. Wanna give you your space and stuff? Yeah. Probably just grab dinner with Mike and like kick it and like come back here, so. Okay. I love to kick it. So weird. So weird. Okay, bye. <sighs> the painting. I have like no room in my new apartment for it, so okay. let me just get like the bulky stuff yeah, out. Yeah, you're welcome to leave it here. And then I'll figure that out. Cool, I bye. Don't, I don't think she has a plan for the painting. I don't think she has any intention no. on getting it. Um, you can keep that. <laughs> You guys, here's my face close up. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, my too. It's fine. <laughs> okay. How scary. I'll see you next week.